Okay, everybody, here is a demo of Open Pilot running on a comma 2 in a 2016 Escalade ESV that will give us level 2 driving assistance. Here we go. All right, now it's active. No hands, no feet. So on brake, if I were to brake, it will disable. However, if I accelerate, it will still do the lane keep assist, or lane centering, sorry. Right now I have it enabled to use vision and map data to base how fast it needs to go around turns. Also, when it knows the speed limit, if it's between 30 and 55, it will go up to nine miles an hour over, and 55 miles an hour above, it will go up to 14 miles an hour over. It's currently running in laneless mode, so it's not looking for the yellow and the white lines. So this road is a little iffy on the turns because it's pretty bumpy and anytime you're going over bumps the camera shakes a little bit and messes up the prediction algorithms. So the Comma 2 is using the front facing camera on the Comma 2 device which is a one plus three and it's also getting radar device, radar information from the vehicle's onboard radar systems. So this is my dad's vehicle. I've had it since Friday working on tuning this for him. Uh, we were getting really jerky steering around the turns. It's a lot better now. Also, the camera mount needs adjusted just a bit. Uh, we're two degrees to the right, and we're one to two degrees down, pointing down. So I need to get a new mount or a shim to shim it up some, and then just readjust it to the left two degrees. But other than that, it's pretty, pretty good. I'm jealous that he gets this in his vehicle, and it won't work in my vehicle. Uh, since GM decided to encrypt and authenticate the messages in the Global B system. So we're gonna do a little back road driving and then we'll go jump on the highway. The only thing in this vehicle that I'm still working on tuning is acceleration. It just does not, I just can't get it to accelerate fast. So here we go, we're at 25. I'm gonna set it up to 70 and just watch how slow it tries to accelerate. We'll watch the RPM gauge down there. So we're still set at 70. just does not want to get up and go. Braking is pretty smooth. I uh, could use a little bit of tuning to brake a little bit earlier, coming up onto really slow cars that are coming up to a stop. Um, also, stopped car detection is really, really bad. That's kind of adaptive cruise control 101, someone told me. Uh, radar just has difficulty detecting a vehicle stopped and it's just not some object on the side of the road apparently so 
so still completely hands-free. you the distance that it will try to maintain. Here we go. This is going to be interesting. Maybe not. But, yep. So that one I had to brake on. I don't know why it wanted to go really close to that vehicle before it started braking. So that needs a little bit of tuning. All right, so now it's enabled again. So brake disables it. Gas, so when I press the gas, so manual gas control, um, but it will still do the lane centering, which is kind of cool. Um, the version I'm currently running, it has a one pedal option also. Um, so if I wanted to do gas and brake, I could just use the gas. Anytime I'm not on the gas, it's going to automatically start slowing down all the way to a stop. So it's called one pedal driving. disengaged because I'm breaking to get on the interstate. Alright, so now I'll show you lane mode. So here we go. We're back into auto so it chooses between lane and laneless. And see how it detects the lines on the side and greens your driving path before blue was the driving path so I do have this one enabled after two seconds of blinker it will automatically change lanes so let's see if this works so all I gotta do is put in my blinker one two there we go and change lanes for me on the interstate it up to 84. Now it really shines on the interstate and it's perfect for long car rides or drives, long travel. Turn signal, 
it's not quite two seconds. It's supposed to be two seconds, but it's more like a second and a half. It's wanting to change lanes. So you do have to make sure your lane is clear first, your, where you want to go. Uh, since this doesn't have 360 vision, so once you know it's clear, you put your turn signal on and it will auto-initiate the change for you. here it knows the speed limit is 70 and underneath of it it says plus 14 so that means it will go up to 14 miles an hour over the speed limit and above it it says 84 so if it doesn't know what the speed limit is it will go up to 84 right now and you can change that by just your normal plus and minus on on the car. You can see it, it changing. Um, on the vehicle, it also displays it on the vehicle. Oh, we want to take this turn. So, bring it down to 40. Ooh, it brakes pretty hard. Yeah, on the back roads, or our two lane roads around my house, uh, laneless just seems to do a lot, be a lot better profile. Um, doesn't want to hug the right so much, so um, just by tapping the tapping on the screen, you can change the profiles. Oh my gosh, I can't see. So blue, again, that means laneless. And when it goes black, that means I took over the steering. Or gray. So we might see that happen up here a little bit on this extremely bumpy road. So I also have coast on, I think I said that at the beginning maybe, so it will allow it to go up to 10 miles an hour over when it's going down the, down the hill so it's not constantly braking to try to keep you at the speed limit. It makes it a much more pleasant, pleasant ride. Got a little close to the center for me there with that oncoming dump truck, so. So this is the one thing I'm still working on. It says steering exceeded. However, when I take control, I can still, I can still feel it steering the vehicle. See, like it says turn exceeds, but I did that 
that turned really well. So it does not do stop signs, stop lights right now. There is an experimental branch that has it. I tested it, it still needs lots of work. There you go, and that's uh, it's a comma two running open pilot at 2016 Escalade. As far as price goes, I got the comma two used for about 500 bucks. The ODB2 harness to USB C, so that's the cable that, that runs up to it. It's $200, and then um, there's a guy on in the open pilot community that makes a ASCM harness for the GM vehicles and that was about 230 bucks. So all in all, right around $980 and you get level two driving automation. Check, check them out, comma.ai. Uh, they're also on GitHub. Over 140 different cars are supported.